Something just happens when I go and look for objects. A wise choice, you'll never regret it, sir. It just becomes apparent there's something about them that will make a good painting. You know, so I try and look for things with not too many loaded meanings. I try to avoid something that I think is overly kitsch. I find there's always an element of strange defiance within the objects I pick. I used to use text and objects and so on, whereas now I just solely concentrate on painting. There's something about it which can't be replicated in any other art form. You know, obviously art has to be marketed and part of the art world and the media needs work that's quite easy to, to write about or it's, or it's story based character-based, personality-based. The more interesting art doesn't really touch on those things. The work's the thing, you know, to some extent. I think the artist should disappear into the work. It's, it's more of a challenge to actually make this 2D object and for it to sit on a wall and for people to actually take time out to look at it is, is, is quite difficult, really. I think the notion of artists being special people is a bit misleading. If anything, they're less than special. It's almost something you're missing rather than something extra you've got. There's a particular kind of male vanity as well in making art. I suppose some of the objects I use and some of the, the, the scale and so on is a way of, of kind of pricking that vanity. You know, I, I take making the work seriously, but I don't try not to take myself too seriously. I mean, it is, on reflection, quite a ridiculous thing to do, really. A painting, in some ways, is an object of contemplation. So when you look at a painting, for me, it, it does remind you of time passing and what it is to be alive.